Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Will from WC Review. And this is really, this is not a review of any kind. It's not even an unboxing. It's more just a sharing of something that uh, one of my new buddies was kind enough to share with me. Uh, Steve Clare is the owner of this knife. Um, and when I saw it, I just thought, of, wow, I really, um, Satu Dave was the one who, who really uh, showcased it for me on one of his videos. And uh, I saw it and I just was like, wow, what is that? I had to have it. Uh, I've since owned uh, it's another Sergei Rogovets knife, the Rhino, which again, um, uh, Scotch and Things, Steve and Dave have also shown. And uh, um, Scotch and Things also let me borrow his Kentucky special. But this was the one that really caught my eye. And I'm going to turn it around in a second. I just wanted to talk it up a little bit. Um, look at this. I did, I calipered the, uh, I measured the uh, blade. It's, it's just under uh, 290 thousandths. It's, it's 0.28 and change uh, at its thickest point. But if it, it's hard to, to share that, what I'm feeling with my hands, but just the transitions from the inlays to the metal are, you literally can't feel it. It's just absolute perfection. Sergey is... Uh, a jeweler by trade, as many people, I've said it in other videos, but you can just tell the attention to detail. Just look at the, um, the insert, the lock bar insert. It's even got a little, a little turnout there, but when you flick this, check the blade out. It's, it's literally the smoothest, tightest action you could, you could ever want. It just, you know, sometimes you feel a little clunk or a little a little rattle in something. This is just absolute flawlessness. I would assume this is an S forty five blade. It doesn't say it anywhere. Uh, Sergey signs all of his all of his works um, inside there, and he usually puts a not usually he always puts a serial number with it. Sometimes he puts the metal uh, the steel blade steel that he used. Also, this one just says Sergey Rogovets and. 2364. So that's, I would assume, his his 64th knife in the year of 2023. But overbuilt, just a bit. This is a brass backspacer. It is, it's just, I'm so thankful. Uh, again, Steve, thank you for trusting me and sharing this with me. But let's just look at the blade for a second. If you look up here, first of all, it's really, really thick. It's also really, really sharp. And just the swedge, the way the blade swedges right there. And it's just a plunge line. Everything is centered. It, it's just a precision piece. That also is functional. This is not a safe queen. Um, well, not to me anyway. I, again, I've said it before. I'll say it again. I wouldn't be bringing this to a construction site or using it every day, but it is a functional tool. You can absolutely use this to cut things and use it. Um, I, I would, and maybe I'll talk to Steve. I've already spoken with Sergey. He can make me one, but uh, maybe maybe there's a trade involved. If not, I, I, I don't care. I'm just so grateful to have, to, to have been able to have handled it. But it, it really goes in and out of pocket quite nicely. It's, it's comfortable in every way, smooth as silk, and it does. you got to be actually careful because it just drops shots. It will guillotine your finger off, um, and it is very sharp. So it's about nine and a quarter inches, not about. It is nine and a quarter inches. You can just see the thickness. Um, I don't know. Some people may be turned off by that, but this is the epitome of what I like in a knife. It's just... It's super duper, unbelievably well made, and just for a um, uh, size reference, here's a uh, Medford Flipper Fighter. Very similar, right? Just about the same, same animal. So, again, I just wanted to share it with everyone, as Steve was kind enough to share it with me. If you have any questions, let me know. And uh, again, thank you guys for watching. Thank you so much. This is, a, you know, probably would be nice if I mentioned what the hell the knife is. It is a Sergei Rogovets Titan Four or a T4. That's the knife. And obviously it will be in the title 
but I just realized up until now I hadn't said what the knife is. It's uh, Sergei Rogovitz T4 in S45 VN, and I love it, and I want one. And one day, soon, I will have one. Thanks, guys.